Well, there is one guy that uh, could stop these centers, and he's done it, and he's proven it in the playoffs. And it looks like he's potentially on his way out at the door in, in Golden State here. Uh, rumor mill coming through here. It looks like Looney is likely to be released. He's only got $3 million left on his $8 million salary. That will be fully guaranteed on June 24th. So it's behoove of the uh, organization to either move on if either a trade or just release him outright, which is probably going to happen. So he could re-sign with the Warriors. Um, not sure why he would at this point. You know, he could obviously get more money elsewhere, uh, but it sounds like he's going to have a lot of suitors. So uh, not only are we saying goodbye to a potential Clay Thompson leave, but we're also saying goodbye to a Looney leave as well, too. So um, tough. One yeah, that one. It, that's a tough. Um, but this was this past season was the season that it seemed like the injuries and the slowdown was that cliff was happening for Looney. Mm-hmm. And for years and years and years, you know, we, we know about the hip surgeries and the injuries that he's had to fight through. No other player on the Warriors during this run has gotten more out of his body than Kavon Looney. You know, if you look at the tape when he was at UCLA and him playing right now, you're like, that's not the same guy. Right. You know, what he was doing at UCLA before the injuries – you thought um, he was whereas, Carmelo out there. I, Dude, I mean, can you imagine if he was healthy in the NBA? Um, you know, Loon, uh, I mean, he's he's a Warrior Hall of Famer. Um, I could see him coming back, but I I don't know, man, with, with the injuries, with the, the cliff, you know, and I think the Warriors are turning over a new leaf. You got to get younger. And um, you got You got to give more to, to the young guys that you have. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, you may have found your center for the next decade. That's true. That's true. I mean, with with Trace, you get basically what Looney was doing at a more younger, athletic position that doesn't have injury riddle. You know, so exactly. Um, so yeah, I, I agree with you that that uh, you know, and, and again, still a rookie, you know, and, and I know he's going to the sophomore year, but there's still plenty of mistakes he's going to make, and we're gonna have to just live with that as he grows, you know, into his position and grows into being an NBA player. So, yep. but I will I will say this: they brought in, I want to say he was from. Oh, this didn't make any sense to me. Okay, so they brought in. I want to say it was a general manager or a front office person from Detroit to help fix their salary cap situation, which I mean, cool that they did that, but you know, Detroit has been dealing with so many salary cap issues for the last, like, I don't know, 20 years. (laughs) So I don't really understand the move, but, but they made a point that they're going to get underneath the salary cap. They have to, they, they, they can't pay a luxury tax for a team. That's not a playoff team at this point. So, didn't make yeah, you're. I was listening to some radio stuff, and the talk was about Clay, and there's probably more than more than just Orlando out there that's willing to pay Clay. There's probably a few teams that feel like they're close. So yeah. you know, there's there's some franchises out there that haven't been competitive in in some time, and you're just trying to get into the playoffs and be competitive. So there's going to be teams that are willing to overpay because they have this money and they got to give it to somebody. Mm-hmm. So I think somebody will be out there to that's willing to give like a two year deal or a three year deal. That's a lot of money. And I don't think anybody's going to be upset with clay for taking the payday. Um, you know, that's kind of like modern sports. Like we don't really get mad at the players for taking the most amount of money. Because whatever, if Clay signs for a hundred million dollars and that's guaranteed, the owners are making a billion. Like, you know, so so get yours, right? Like, get it. Yes, um, of course. And you know, the Warriors have to get under this salary cap thing. Um, if they if they're have any hope of being competitive next year, running it back is not a solution running it back 
with these players, um, with Clay, um, unfortunately, the injuries um, zapped him of yep. of of his uh, greatness. You know, it was uh, two major leg injuries. Yeah, three years, you know, pretty much. You know, three years gone. Towards the tail end of his third year.